How do Olympic 50 freestylers train speed and power in the pool in less than a thousand yards? Today, I'm gonna take you through a workout. What are my new and current goals and why was the men's 50 freestyle the best event of the Paris Olympic Games? I'm gonna break that down at the end of the video. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 6 a.m. and we are headed to the pool. Now, there was a long period of time this summer after Olympic trials where I was in a real rut. Whether you go to the Olympics and win gold or have a tragic meet and miss the final or don't go to the meet at all, at the end of a four year training quad, everyone is in the same boat. What next? What's my purpose? You have to do some soul searching. I didn't have motivation to go to the gym, didn't have motivation to go to the pool, and, and that was hard. But now I have reestablished some goals. I'm excited to go work out, excited to train again. Let me tell you about that. My whole life, I've been a middle distance swimmer, training for the 100 and 200 breaststroke. And now I wanna do something different, something I've never done before. I thought, I wanna do a triathlon. Never done one before, seems fun, seems like a hard challenge. The problem is I love sprinting, I love speed, and I really wanna go a best time in my 50 freestyle. And those are two polar opposite things. Olympic triathlon here, sprint freestyle, the splash and dash, literally the shortest race in swimming. I went back and forth, a little bit of tug of war into which one I wanted to do. And then it dawned on me, why don't I train for both? Can I do both? Can it be done? So that's what this next phase is all about, completing an Olympic distance triathlon in a respectable amount of time, training for that, while also doing a 50 freestyle, hopefully a personal best time. Ultra sprint, mega endurance, let's do both. These are my training partners today, sprint coach John. Can you and get us when we do a good run back and forth? Yeah, I'll get it when you do a good. And Director of Operations, Van. Oh, Van, you gotta be better. I'm gonna have to cut this out of the video. Coach John is also on a quest to go an extremely fast 50 freestyle into his 30s. I'd say I wanna get at least under 20.5. Under 20.5. If, if I go 19, I'll be ecstatic. He's gonna go 19. He'll be the fastest coach in the NCAA. You saw it here first. Give us a few months. Welcome back to my classroom. Warm up is only 500. And then here's the set. The set is only 300 yards long. We're going 312 and a half, so only halfway, really heavy. We're talking like 100 pounds here. A 25 easy, lots of rest, lots of rest, and then an all out 25. And then, then we're going down. Then we do two, and then another all out 25, and then more rest. And then we do one full 25 all the way across the pool with hopefully over 100 pounds, one max 25, and then a lot of rest. And then we're gonna finish off with like four 25s all out. So overall, this whole workout, we're not going over a thousand yards. Sprint and power. Best part of the day right here. Yeah. There are three pillars to being an elite 50 freestyler. Technique, number one. Speed, number two. Power, number three. Today, we are going to swim extremely fast, hopefully with perfect technique, while also incorporating strength and power, loading up the pulleys with around 100 pounds. The set right here, as we work our way down on the pulleys, resisted training, we're gonna add weight. We're gonna add weight and see how strong we can be. Coach John is doing stick drill. Really good drill to uh, work on your freestyle timing. Your goal is to really anchor and work on your vault so you connect the timing of your catch and that recovery. Perfect. So right when the arm enters the water, the other arm exits, kind of working on that perfect windmill stroke. Heavyweight for strong men. So we're doing these 12 and a halfs with the weight on 120. So there's the set, we're starting. Heavyweight. So we're taking. Just call me Cam McAvoy. <laughs> when the weight is this heavy, the weight doesn't sit on the, on the bench. So when we take it off to do our fast run you gotta hook it onto the lane line. I was really so really strong <laughs> on there, John. I don't know if you know this, I'm kinda dumb sometimes. Oh, that felt good. Feels strong. I think Van beat us. Wait, are we doing butterfly? Yes. Oh, that's not good. So Van over here is an 18, 50 yard freestyler, big, big 10 champion. So if I'm close to him, we're doing okay, if I'm close. If I'm, at, if I'm not ahead of John, then we're in trouble here. <laughs> I've activated super wide camera mode so that we know who wins this one for sure. We're not even filming you, you're too Just, fast. You're too fast. Come you on, don't... man. Yeah. All right, let's go, come on. 19 let's go. unsuited over there. 25 all out. 
Oh man, I don't know, that was close. We're on the last heavy pulley. And as John just pointed out, this will be the hardest part of the workout because it's a full 25 with 130 pounds. So no breath, right? That'd be ideal. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, John beat me. He beat me by a good amount, but we were faster than we expected. 15, 16, we're pretty good. That's pretty good. This one's for pride. Yeah. The last 25, I'm not gonna let John beat me on this one. No chance. I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> oh, that's close. The replay. Who won? Me or John? Who did it? We know Van won. All right, shut, shut your mouth, Van. We're get your must, get your mustache out of here. That one felt pretty good, though. Remember what we said earlier about how that 25 was gonna be the hardest part? I think this. I, I think forgot about these four. You forgot about those 425s yeah, right there. Forgot. Okay, so this. No, this <laughs> mistakes were made. I don't know what I was thinking. You spoke too soon, dude. Dude, we got better today. We did. We got way better today. <laughs> we are 16 days away from our... <laughs> you stop making me laugh, John. I'm trying to be serious here. 16 days away from our mid-season championship meet. <sighs> where we're gonna test how our training's been going. Thank goodness for it's gonna be like Jocko hydration. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna get me through it. We'll talk more about that at the end of the video. Thanks, thanks for that. Plug, John. A very successful sprint day. Feel good about that. So with my dual training, triathlon and sprint training, I'm alternating days. So yesterday was a distance training day and I started my morning off with a cold plunge. 42 degrees, good way to start the morning. Then I headed to the gym for a full body lift. This lift was back squats paired with power cleans from the ground, box jumps, plyo push-ups, and overhand chin-ups. Followed up with triathlon endurance building at home, 3,000 meters of continuous swimming in my endless pool, 20K bike, and then I rounded it out with a 5K run. Just don't stop. That's the only thing I'm thinking. Just don't stop. This is the best, walking out after a hard workout. The morning sun can't get any better i have recently partnered with jocko fuel for a number of different reasons uh, their core tenets are something that you know really resonate with me hard work no excuses and clean fuel you don't need to be an olympic athlete to fuel yourself properly like an Olympic athlete. Let me tell you more at home in my office. Jocko Fuel was founded by Jocko Willink, who if you've never heard of before, that's okay. He's a US Navy SEAL, former member of SEAL Team 3. He's written a number of best-selling books and all of his teachings are about routine and discipline. And if you've followed this channel for a long time, you know that's what we're all about here, making progress, in the pool, in the gym, and in life through routine and discipline. Jocko Mulk Ready to Go Shakes, as well as their protein powder, are available in Walmart now. So go ahead and click that link down there below. Get yourself some. It's all natural, completely clean, grass-fed protein, no artificial flavors, natural sweeteners, everything that's good for you and nothing that's not. The ready to drink shakes come in chocolate, vanilla, coffee. My favorite flavor is chocolate. Uh, however, I only have vanilla left because I, I drink all my chocolates. My favorite of the protein powders is the cookies and cream. Once again, click that link down there below. Get yourself some clean quality fuel from an awesome company whose values improves people's lives like myself. This is an awesome partnership. I'm psyched about it. And now you have all been waiting for this. We have got to talk about the best race of the Paris Olympics, the men's 50 freestyle. Let's do this. The men's 50 freestyle at the Paris Olympic Games had everything you could possibly ask for in an Olympic race. Number one, pressure. This is the shortest race in the Olympics. Imagine training your entire life for a race that lasts 21 seconds. Triumph, that's Cam McAvoy, your gold medalist. The four time Olympian, over 30 years old, his first Olympic medal, gold in the shortest race at the Olympic Games. Shock and awe, Great Britain's Ben Proud, arguably the most consistent 50 freestyler on the planet, narrowly misses the gold medal, just uh, right there. Just uh. This race had amazement. Flo Menadu in his home country won his fourth consecutive medal in this event. And finally, Heartbreak, the defending Olympic gold medalist, misses the podium. Caleb Dressel's tears will not be quickly forgotten by anybody. And that was, 
That was painful. We were all rooting for him. We were all cheering for him, but it was it was it was heartbreaking. Of all the Paris Olympic races that I have rewatched as a swim fan, as a nerd, this one is the most satisfying for all those reasons. The complete triumph of Cam McAvoy. The narrow miss, the shock and awe of Ben Proud. The amazing accomplishment of Manadou's fourth consecutive medal. And the heartbreak of Caleb Dressel missing the podium. Obviously the guy that I was rooting for. Just, it, it's everything that you could want and ask for in a race. All the emotions, the entire wave of emotions, happy, joy, fear, terror, everything just, it's the best. This is why we need more 50s in the Olympics. <laughs> what do you all think? Let me know down there below. Thank you all for joining me today. It was a lot of fun. If you have something you would like me to make a video about, please drop it down there below. Give me a topic, give me something to tackle. What would you all like to see me show in the swim world? Let me know down there below. Today I showed you one of my strength training pieces. I think I'm gonna do a full video about the whole week's strength work, specifically training power outside of the pool for the 50 freestyle. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know down there below. Announcements. I am personally running a breaststroke power clinic here in Indiana at the IU pool that I swam at today. That is taking place on Sunday, October 27th. Tickets should be available now by the time this video is live. There should be a link down there below. If the link's not there, that means the clinic isn't quite open yet. Stay tuned. Mark your calendar. It's going to be a lot of fun. I am currently booking events right now. If you'd like to bring me up for a speaking event or a swim clinic, send me an email to codymillershow at gmail.com. I've still got a few dates left this year, so maybe we could work something out. If you'd like a personalized video from me to you or someone you know for whatever reason, we are back in the swing of the trip training season. You need to pick me up. You need to pump me up. Let me know. I'm available on Cameo. Thank you all for watching. Until my next video, I will see you all later.